Hey everyone, it is another episode of Two Beers in Asia! Asia, 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 there's an echo in here. An echo. We're back for another episode and uh, thanks for tuning in. And we promised it wouldn't be so long and here we are. Yeah, there you go. Um, so, you know what? One thing that's really cool that I'm really looking forward to, now that the winter months are here, well, you know, I guess, yeah, it would fall in winter. Is it, still, is it fall or winter? It's still fall? I'm gonna put this in winter now. Okay, well, uh, it's iffy. You know, it's, uh, it's winter time, and I'm really excited because um, for a few reasons. And let's start with the first thing. I'm really yeah, let, let's. I'm I was excited. wondering, you're gonna start talking about winter without a beer? I'm really excited. Yeah, I'm really excited about, about this beer. <laughs> and you know what? In the last episode, oh, in the last episode, um, say that? PJ supplied the beer, and in this episode, guess what? PJ, he did it again, which is awesome. So thanks, PJ. Nice. Now this beer. I don't know, like, I love, I love this beer, because it, oh, oh, it looks... The same people who make Yona Yona Ale. And Yona Yona Ale is just a it, brilliant beer. It, it really is. I love is. that beer. And this one, it looks like a, like a vampire or something. Look at that. Is it the moon? I don't know what that I don't is. I know, it looks like a vampire or something. Well, I guess it can't be the moon, because on the back there, there's the moon. Yeah, okay. Good point. So this is a uh, an India Pale Ale. Indian so you know, we decided in this episode we're gonna drink the beer from the can. Yeah. And really uh, so you, you know what? I'm sure you all know what an Indian pale ale looks like. If not, get out to a store and purchase yeah, one. Exactly. <laughs> There's a lot of. If you're in Canada, Alexander Keats Indian pale ale. It's a very good pale ale. Yes, the pride of Nova Scotia, where I'm from. Okay. I'd like to say I'm the pride of Nova Scotia. <laughs> beer is better than I am. All right. So let's. Uh, Shall we? Oh. Oh. It's, I'm sorry, um, again, I transported them. Um, they bounced around today, that's alright. It's a bummer. Again, drink. I wipe it up with my sock, because that's what socks are for. You know what? This beer has a lot of flavor. This is a complicated beer. Yeah, this is, you're either, you're either gonna love it or not. If you're not a beer drinker, you might not like it. It's, it's got this a bitter is, aftertaste. Which is, some pale ales do, Indian pale ales. This beer. is definitely not for the I should say faint of heart when it comes to no non-beer drinkers. Um, this is this is something a, a real beer drinker would enjoy a lot. Um, when at first it's harsh, but then you can in the notes there. I mean, it, it, I don't know how to describe it, but there's like a, the flavor profile takes you on a ride. Yeah, I yeah. like it. Like as soon as it hits your tongue, there's a sharp kind of bitterness. Yeah, it's very immediate, sharp. Very. Immediately, like an and then it hit a sweetness when you breathe out. Yeah. Wow, this is very nice. So again. Check it out. And I'll, I'll send Ioni. you the link Ioni. and you can put it on the... Yeah. Um, the, the link will be on the side if you want to check this one out, okay? Ioni... How do you say Iona? I think it's Aoni. Aoni beer. Aoni. Because I, I can't read these two kanji, but... And you can see Aoni. right there. Because we are in Japan. Otsumami, or beer snacks, or... I'm sorry, alcohol snacks. And you, and you can see, actually, but check this out. What do you have? What is that? Cheese? On the back there, so there's a beer! Cheese of Palooza! It's cheese of Palooza. These are cheese. These are cheese. Fifty-two percent. Fifty-two percent. What? Real cheese or chemicals or what? I don't know. They're pretty chemically to me. Chemically, not a word. And we're also gonna try pork rinds. These, but not regular pork rinds. It says Hito Kuchi Sosu Katsu. So yeah, I'm really stoked because I'm going back home to Canada for uh, my winter vacation. What are you gonna do? I'm going to just honestly hang out with my family. I'm going to eat portions of food that are bigger than I've seen in a long time. I'm going to drink some Canadian beer. Oh yeah, Sleeman's Honey Brown, my favorite. I'm looking what forward to it. Sleeman's Honey Brown. I've not heard of that. Sleeman's Brewery is, uh, it was an independent Canadian brewery based out of Guelph, Ontario, and they produced some of the greatest Canadian beers that I've always found. And they were recently bought out by Sapporo, actually, about two years ago. It two is years one ago. worldwide Sapporo global drinking bought, industry. Um, so, um, Right now, I'm not sure if any of the Canadian, major Canadian beer companies are actually, beer producers are actually Canadian owned anymore. I think they're all foreign owned. Wow. I think. And, it's if, a global And world. I might be wrong, so correct me on that. I'm sure you will anyway. Huh. Are you going home alone? No, I'm going with my wife. My wife and I are going back to Canada. Has, to she, has she met your parents before? I already know the answer. I'm just asking so you can understand he really is married. Actually, yes. My wife actually lived in Canada for a while, uh, in Ottawa, when I lived in Ottawa. I was living in Ottawa. Autorific. Autorific. <laughs> Ottawa, the capital city. Um, cold winters, but great town. Um, yeah, she, my wife lived in Ottawa, so we're going to be visiting the Ottawa area. And uh, it's going to be great. Just hang out with my family and enjoy great food, great company, great times. 
but yeah, that's that's what I'm playing. And now that's really cool because I actually haven't been to Canada since I've come to Japan. So it's been I've been here for about a year and a half now. Wow. Seems like longer. And I've never been. <laughs> well, you know, stale company. Oh! <laughs> no. So that's what I'm doing for winter vacation, um, which is which is really cool. So, um, PJ, what are you doing for winter uh. vacation? <laughs> Actually, that's kind of what I'm doing for winter vacation. Um, <laughs> I went home last year, and I had the worst possible experience in my entire life. It took me six days. You know, every time I tell the story, it grows a little bit. But it took me five days to get home to the United to the Pennsylvania. Was this big. <laughs> yeah. And it was horrible. Lovely to see my family again, but whom I do love dearly. But you know. Um, I wasn't able to get a driver's license, I lost my social security card, um, I was bit by a Pekingese. Yeah, everyone- In the face. There is no manly way to say you were bit by a Pekingese. Mm. But a bit your face. Yeah, it did. And it was in my lap to begin with, and it just mm. tore my lips. Even the Pekingese, if it bites your mouth, that's not gonna be good. Anyway, I decided- well, much to my family's uh, chagrin, I'm not coming home this holiday. Mm. I'm going to stay here, save some money, drink a whole hell of a lot. Yeah. Sounds good. And um, <laughs> get some work done. I'm trying to get... Um, by then I'll have one article published, I hope. Mm. Or I've set my second, awesome. really. But move on to my third. Um, and in Japan, and this is gonna, this is gonna flip ya. You know how in America, no, I'm sorry, America, how, how, how American centric I mean, shame. You're American, so it's alright. In North America, mm -hmm. Christmas is for family and yeah. New Year's is woohoo, party! The opposite here in Japan. It's ex exactly the opposite. Which is why I will actually be here for New Year's. I will be back here in Japan for New Year's. So that you can be with your wife's family? And so I can spend it with my wife's family. And stuff, so we'll, how we'll, horrible. Yeah, so we'll actually be back here a few days before the New Year or two. Which is good. Year. Which is awesome, because I mean, New Year's is, like you said, that's actually the biggest holiday of the year in Japan. That's the, most four days here, that's the most important The day time. before and the two days after. People see families, go to temples, do... Which is crazy. crazy. We went to, temple. We went to the temple last uh, last New Year's Day, which was my first time here in Japan for that. It was crazy and amazing at the same time. Crazy as in there were just so many people. There's this active uh, Zen monastery. Actually, it's not Zen, but it's a offshoot of Zen in Kyoto. And they have they invite people to come in and they ring the bells at uh, midnight and then they chant for several hours and all the cu not customers all the visitors get drunk in the woods around them. That's awesome. <laughs> it, it's the trippiest, coolest thing in the world. And um, okay. That's one of these days, I just stayed home last year and watched the NHK special and drank. Okay, but that was interesting in its own right. I did that in Pennsylvania, so we were probably yeah. watching. Yeah. Actually, 24 hours later, but it doesn't really matter. So, uh, so there you go, the holidays. Um, but I'm hoping to have a romantic holiday. You know what I'm saying? You know, because because it is a romantic. That's where I was originally going. Oh, okay. <laughs> My point is, a single guy can do quite well in Japan in the holidays because there is the need to have a partner. No matter what your orientation. No matter, or uh, or hair status. Um, someday. Well, soon. <laughs> <laughs> My point is, nonetheless, <laughs> this is a good off. time for single guys to clean up. There you and go. I'm looking forward to cleaning up. Of course, in a classy sense. <laughs> I, I'm a classy cleaner upper. He is. Classy. Alright, um, so I see by the clock on the wall that it's time to bid you one and it all. It really is. Hey, that was a little, uh, so Wayne and Juicy right there from the Canadian. Yeah, Canadian thing. All right, Canadiana. all right. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. And thank you for watching another episode of Cigars in Asia. And uh, stay have... tuned for more exciting stuff. Uh. <laughs>